I spent thousands of dollars over the past 10 years on my perfect VHS capture system. And I realized it was all for nothing when somebody messaged me on Twitter and told me about the Doomsday Duplicator. This is the Doomsday Duplicator. Back in the day, I would use something like this, which it digitizes and captures over Firewire, composite video. It worked at the time. However, you're still going through your composite out. There's a lot of processing done on the actual VCR as well as in the device itself. In the early 2000s, it worked, but there were always issues. That's where this guy came in. It does have a BNC connector right here, but that's not capturing composite video. That's capturing the RF signal from the VCR. Now, something like this has its limitations. You need a really balling VCR to get decent quality if you're capturing older tapes, which I am. You need something that has a TBC. With something like the Doomsday Duplicator, you don't need any of that. In fact, you can get the cheapest $20 VCR on Facebook Marketplace and get the same result because you're capturing from the RF test point inside of this. That doesn't give you the footage itself, that gives you the RF samples digitized to something that you can decode on a, your computer at home. So in my use case, I'm capturing old family tapes and some of them you can't even recognize who's in them anymore. And through the magic of VHS decode, it's reversed the whole process and I can actually see people's faces again. And it's kind of magical. So another use case is preserving old media that has never been digitized or brought to DVD or any other digital platform. One example is the Doomsday 86 project, which was produced by BBC and this product is named after. It was mastered to Laserdisc, but never properly digitized. And it would have otherwise been lost if it wasn't for the team that made this. But that's not what we're gonna do today. We're going to capture a VHS tape. You pick. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Doubtfire. All right. Pierce Brosnan's pecs are glorious in this movie but not as glorious as our sponsor. Charge. As slim as a few credit cards, their aluminum Disc Plus SSD enclosure magnetically attaches to practically any device, letting you bring along up to four terabytes of additional storage for your music, movies, games, and more. It supports transfer speeds of up to 10 gigabit per second and even comes with a built-in data cable. Plus, you don't even have to hog a USB slot thanks to its dual ports that allow for up to 85 watts of pass-through charging. Check it out using our link in the video description today. One thing I forgot to show you is the actual RF test point that we're connecting to. There's many different little test points here and they're usually listed on this particular unit as TP. So the one that I was looking for is called TP something envelope, ENV. All right, so that's right there. And this here is a ground. There's also a test point for hi-fi audio, which will give you a hi-fi audio signal. This guy can't capture it. There are other products out there that can. For today, we are just capturing the video. With that said, let's, uh, let's watch Mrs. Doubtfire. So in order to connect to this, I need to connect to this. So that's the test point and that's the ground. And it all comes down here and around and out here. That is new. That shouldn't be there. Dan did this. I am not good with soldering. And that is connected to the RF test point. Now, if you're not good at soldering, there's also options for like alligator clamps like these two. So you can just connect these to your test points and have uh, your little BNC come go into this. The capture software is pretty straightforward. Just got a big capture button right here. And uh, I'm just gonna start playing the video. I'm not doing a full capture because that would take hours. So we're just gonna start capturing now. So as you can see, there are some issues visually with this tape. Right now we're capturing video only. You can capture audio. However, I don't have anything set up for that at the moment. I also don't need audio because most of the tapes that I'm capturing are family videos. So there's not gonna be much difference in terms of 
audio quality from an actual conventional capture. Once the capture is done, you'll have to run it through the VHS decode software. It is command line, but don't worry, it's very straightforward. You'll be left with two TBC files. One is for Chroma, one is for Luma. You can open them in LD Analyze to see what everything looks like and check out the signal to noise ratio, see if you have any line dropouts. It's very straightforward. And finally, you can get your final output video through TBC tools. Again, it's command line. Just make sure your files are all in the same folder as the software. For more information, there's a massive wiki with all the steps. It's very straightforward. You might need about an hour to read through everything, but once you're done, you're good to go. So looking at the side by side, it should be pretty obvious. The capture from the Doomsday Duplicator is much cleaner. It's much sharper. There's way more color information. It just looks better. But this does come at a cost, $500, or about $500. You can also build it yourself, but currently there are other options that are pretty much better than this in every way. The CX card with the clock gen mod is the gold standard. Harry, one of the main developers from VHS Decode, informed me that they are currently working on a new card, the Mershk card, that just has more options and can do everything the CX card can do and run through USB. The CX card is a PCIe add-in card. If you're running it on a laptop, this is probably your best bet. There really is a lot and it's really hard to cover it all today. You can check out the Discord and the Wiki and the GitHub and it's a very active and vibrant community, international, and they are always looking for new contributors and people who are just interested in this project. I know I'm interested in this project. So if you are too, comment down below. Maybe we'll check out more stuff like this in the future. Maybe I'm gonna get a Mersh card. Have a great day. Subscribe to Short Circuit.